Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It? This is the series that I post every single Wednesday where I chat over new makeup releases, give my thoughts on them, talk about what I'm interested in picking up and then what I'm going to pass over. I'll link my playlist down below. I'll also link the community playlist. I started this so any creator who makes a style of video can add theirs to the playlist if you want to binge watch it, see what a bunch of different people are thinking about all of these new releases. But I do have a lot to chat about this week, so I want to go ahead and get started. Right, my hair today will not do anything, so I just had to try to throw it up. Even like a messy bun, I can't even pull off a messy bun today. So it's just... It's just one of those days and I did film some of this look I filmed like the eye look and the lips um, For my Instagram. So if that video is up now, I will link it if not It will be coming soon to my Instagram, which is a March beauty word Okay, so let's see I'm filming this on Tuesday normally I film the will I buy it's on Monday um, But I was out of town yesterday for some appointments. So I'm filming on Tuesday, but I don't even feel like there's too much. I feel like the past few weeks have been maybe a little bit slower release wise, which is totally okay. But, um, you know, definitely still have a lot to chat about. There's a lot of eyeshadow palettes that are coming out. So let's kick it off with ColourPop. They are releasing their Valentine's Day collection. Starting with, they have the All That Eyeshadow Palette. They have a glitterly, glitterly obsessed mini trio. They have a mini just a tint kit, which is lip products. They have a metallic black liner and also a pot liner. They have an illuminating face mist. They have new faux lashes. Everything is available now, so I will link it in my description box. Uh, ColourPop did send me this collection, which I was really excited for. I haven't gotten a few of the last PR packages from them, and I was like, oh no. Oh no, what have I done to, to make ColourPop mad? But they sent me this one, so I'm assuming just... I mean, sometimes with bigger brands like you don't get everything you kind of get like every other or every two or every three or something like that so um i was really excited when the package showed up i really do like the ColourPop false lashes i just did a video talking about underrated makeup products and also makeup brands and i mentioned the lashes under like the underrated products not brands because i don't think ColourPop is very underrated but i really do like their false lashes i got my first set in pr and then i went on to purchase another set myself and um there are false lashes in this set which i was pretty excited for because i do like them the eyeshadow palette does look pretty i like the like the packaging of it i think like the theme and everything is very cool there are i think three of the glitters in here i know not everyone loves that but uh so you have some different glitter options some mattes i actually will have a video going up on Friday a um, full face Ulta try on haul and I did just pick up a new palette from ColourPop it was on the ColourPop website and it was also an Ulta and I was planning to place an Ulta order anyways so I just went ahead and picked it up from Ulta so I just purchased a new ColourPop palette you'll see in Friday's video which one it is uh, so I'm excited about that so uh, if I was if I didn't get this package in PR if, if there was anything that I was really um, kind of did a double take out would have been the lashes but I also just recently purchased the honey lashes and they're still going strong I use my lashes until I can't use them anymore and I don't wear false lashes with like every single makeup look so my honey lashes are still going strong uh, but I'd love to know if you are grabbing anything from the ColourPop collection. Uh, they also have some new releases with Soul Body, and those were sent to me in the PR package too. So we have a, a Shimmering Dry Oil in Soft Pink and also the Face and Body Highlight in Soft Pink. I'm really interested in this highlight. Uh, I almost, I kept going back and forth on grabbing some of the big highlighters that came out recently. I feel like it was either last week or two weeks ago I was talking about them in a Will I Buy It. And I was kind of sad because the new palettes that came out were available at Ulta but not the new highlighters so I ended up just getting the palette and I was still thinking about the highlight so I was really really excited to see this and I love like I love a good pinky highlight I think that it's so beautiful obviously I have a bunch of pink on today um, but my highlight is the collab that I did with Ofer Cosmetics which has Star Island and Pillow Talk in it and Pillow Talk is more of a pinky tone I just love pinky highlights. I think that's beautiful. So uh, I was really excited about that. But those are some new releases from Soul Body as well. Uh, I got quite a few tags on this new eyeshadow palette from Busy Art. So this is a new eyeshadow palette celebrating Valentine's Day. I'm reading from the Turn with One Instagram. I do always link her in my description box. Um, this is the Paris Edit palette. Includes 12 shades in their sophisticated travel friendly design. There's neutrals in matte metallic satin and shimmer. And this is going to be $39. 
I do think the palette is very pretty. I like I really enjoy these types of tones. There's a lot of palettes coming out right now that kind of has obviously like the Valentine's vibe and the pinky vibe, just kind of like romantic or mauve. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which is part of what is on my eyes today. Um, I was talking about the Smoky Glow and Midas uh, Cosmetics collaboration that has a bunch of pink in there. The Natasha Denona Love Palette, which if you guys caught my live chat yesterday, <laughs> I do a live chat on Tuesdays. I have been waiting for like some sort of incentive because that's an expensive palette and I want it and I want to buy it and I was waiting so I was like oh I'll wait till a Sephora rewards comes up for like the Rouge gift card which is usually their $25 or $100 gift card and it popped up in my live and shout out to Heather who said it and I literally ran into the other room grabbed my laptop came back and by the time I did that it was already gone and I was like why why so i'm still really eyeing that one that is the one i want to get when i was in vegas last week i met up with michelle wong and had dinner with her and she brought both the eyeshadow palette and the cheek palette and it did look really beautiful so that's still really the one that i'm eyeing so i like this one a lot and i loved kind of these more muted tones and the mauves in there it looks really beautiful but it kind of reminds me a little bit of the pillow talk which i got and then with the love palette that i want to get too it's like a lot of eyeshadows at one time you know what i'm saying so i'm probably gonna pass over this one but i do think that it's really beautiful it, it did definitely catch my attention looks like makeup revolution is coming out with some more eyeshadow palettes this is for valentine's day their new heartbreakers collection they have these heartbreaker palettes there's six different palettes for seven dollars each and these are nine pan palettes i really like the concept behind that the pans are heart shaped and you have different kind of themes there's more of like a blue a blue one a green one kind of like more of this reddish one pink one purple one a very neutral one i like that it's kind of like it's kind of like the monochromatic palettes from ColourPop, but all coming out at one time instead of being like spaced into different collections so if that's your vibe or you see anything that you really like they are only seven dollars which isn't a bad price at all again i i feel like i have a lot of palettes going on i feel like i have one coming up that i really would want to buy and i'm not i don't buy a ton from makeup revolution like there's not a, a ton that really gets to me or i would consider a favorite so i'm gonna pass over those uh sugar pill is releasing a new palette this is the capsule collection pink edition it says a technological marvel this transparent palette with molecules of color features nine ultra pigmented new eyeshadows and also a blush it's a unique pill shaped palette with a mirror a perfect dose of cute and functional 42 dollars for five mattes four metallics and one blush okay so i feel like looking at it and how it said like what did it say the molecules of color it kind of reminded me immediately of like science class and i'm like ah, flashbacks i was never that was not my subject at all uh i pro i like the the color section looks pretty like some of these colors like baby doll supernova looks really cool glory looks really beautiful dream street melody it looks like i like a lot of the colors in here but overall I don't think I would get the most use out of it. Um, the packaging and everything is definitely unique and different and all of that. I like that they have a blush in there too. I think that's kind of a cool concept. So $42 for all of the different shades. Uh, I like that it's kind of different, a little bit more unique. I can definitely appreciate that, but again, just not something I feel like I need right now. And there's other releases that I feel like are calling to me a little bit more. Uh, Urban Decay is also coming out with the Valentine's collection it is the wired collection So we have the wired palette, which is a pressed pigment palette for $39 and that is 10 different shades We also have the wired 24 7 glide on pencil in a few different shades and the wired transforming liner Which is a double-ended eyeliner and also top coat and that is $22 there's a Wired Vice Lip Chemistry, which is a lasting glassy tint. That's 22. This is going to be available on February 14th. So for the pressed pigment palette, I don't, I don't necessarily work the best with pressed pigments. To me, they can just be a little bit harder for me to work with. I like something that's maybe a little bit more softer, a little bit more easy to, to blend up and blend out and all of that. I feel like I'm always in a rush, so I'm just, I'm someone who just prefers like the easier, smoother, the better. <laughs> I don't know, that's just me. Uh, and then looking at the different shades, I think a lot of people who have been 
a little bit frustrated with Urban Decay how when I first was like really getting into makeup and YouTube and the beauty community and learning about the different products, Urban Decay I felt like was very well known for like a lot of colors, almost like a little bit more like eclectic releases maybe, um, just something kind of like outside the norm. And then definitely though at the same time I feel like there was this other side of Urban Decay because they were also very well known for the naked palettes, which the naked palettes were a lot more neutral. And then I feel like maybe there was kind of like a shift where Urban Decay maybe went a little bit more towards the naked side. And, you know, obviously there's the Naked 2 and 3 and Naked Smoky and Naked Honey and the Naked Reloaded, which I'm a big fan of the Naked Reloaded. So I feel like if you love kind of these colors and this vibe from Urban Decay, you might really enjoy this one. Um, for me, I'm going to skip over it. I just don't think that I would use this one a whole ton. Um, I do have a lot of eyeliners, especially the 24-7 Glide-On pencils from Urban Decay. I have a lot of them. I have a few of these, um, like the, the lip products too. And the double-ended eye product, I don't think I would get a lot of use of. So, not necessarily a collection that fully speaks to me. But I think, like, I can see people really getting on with that one. Uh, okay, so let me see. Was that it for the eyeshadow palettes? No, we have one from Too Faced also. So I think it was last week I was talking about the like highlighting trios that Too Faced is coming out with. And then they are also releasing a new eyeshadow palette. And I think I might have touched on this eyeshadow palette, but like a long time ago because Too Faced is one that a lot of times they announce products like like it almost feels like as they're still in a production meeting they're putting it out on social like what they're going to be announcing next and then by the time it finally comes it's like have I already talked about that but this is the um the born this way natural nudes eyeshadow palette so this is $45 it just says that it's coming soon but we have the full picture now I think that it looks pretty I mean definitely if you're a fan of neutrals and a little bit more natural tones I I kind of like that there's, it looks like there's a good amount of depth from, you know, some of the lighter shades to some of the deeper shades. I think that there's, even though it's a very neutral palette, I feel like looking at this, I can still see that you could get a lot of different looks out of it. I think a lot of people will kind of go crazy over the design and the different pan shapes because I hear about that a lot. Um, that's not something that usually bothers me or sticks out to me. I just, I don't know, I just, not even something that catches my eye. Um... So again, it's very beautiful. I do have a lot of neutral palettes. I don't feel like I need this one a lot right now and still wanting to purchase a $65 eyeshadow palette, which is very expensive, but I'm still hoping to do that. So I'm going to skip over that one. And then we have some new releases from Ofra Cosmetics. These are the new Bossy eyeshades. So these are a liquid eyeshadow and it is what I have on my lids in addition to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. I have the shade Rosé which is a rose gold. That is what I have on my lids. So these are $15 each. It says a lightweight formula that will blend seamlessly and set quickly. We have Penthouse, which is a champagne. Fortune is a bronze. Five Star is a gold. And Rosé is a rose gold. So I like these because they're... A lot of times I use liquid shadows with glitters in them. So like a very glittery eye look. But these are more just like glossy. So if you really like just that glossy eye look or you want... Like it's almost just like it's a it's a regular shadow but with a lot more of an oomph. And again, I used them today. I felt like it was really easy to work with. Um, uh, you get a lot. Like I only had to do one. Like I dipped it in once and I even actually, because there seemed to be a lot of product that got on the wand. So I wiped like a little bit off on the side and I was like, well, I can always dip back in. And I just needed that very small amount and I covered, you know, half of my eyelid, which I thought was awesome. So... Uh, I am on the Ofra PR list, so they did send those to me. I don't know if I would have purchased them myself just because, again, I don't go for the glitter, um, the, not glitter, I don't go for, like, the liquid shadows a ton myself. So, um, $15 I don't think is a terrible price, though. And, again, I thought that they were really pretty. So, again, like I said, I am an affiliate with Ofra, so my discount code is Samantha if you're interested in these or anything else on the Ofra website. I get quite a few tags on these blushes, and I thought that they were super cute, and when I first looked at the photo, I was like, I have no idea who this is from, but, I, like, sometimes I, like, try to play a guessing game, especially if I'm being tagged a lot. I try to, like, guess the brand. This is from BH Cosmetics, and I was totally surprised when I saw that. And these are blush palettes. This is the Truffle Blush Collection. It includes nine palettes. Each one has four shades, shimmery and matte, and matte finishes, and they are $12 each. These are available now. 
I think these are super cute. The outer packaging, the inner packaging with the blushes. If these weren't all blushes, I truly might consider this. But I've been trying not to buy a ton of face palettes. And especially because it's all blushes, I'm like... I just don't feel like I need to buy four new blushes at this point. Like if it was like two blushes and two bronzers. Because I love that there's nine different palettes. Like that's a lot of different options. That's a lot of different skin tones that you're covering. So I'm like, ah. Oh. Or if it would have been like a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight. Or and two blushes, bronzer, and highlight. Whatever it may be. I, I might have actually gone for it. Because I just think that these are way too cute. Oh, BH is in one of the shadows. Oh, I Probably should have caught that right away, but I didn't. Uh, but I think they're cute. I think that's a really great price, too. So, if they weren't all four blushes, I might have been more for it. Oh, we do also have a new collection from Melt Cosmetics, and it does include an eyeshadow palette. This is the Modern Love Collection. We have the Millennial Pinks. This, yes, the Millennial Pinks eyeshadow palette includes mattes, metallics, shimmers, and a duochrome. And we also have some gel liners. Um, this is going to be available February 7th online at Melt and also February 14th at Sephora. I know we were chatting about this in my live chat and a couple people asked if it was going to be available at Sephora. So yes, on the 14th. I don't see a price yet though on the collection and I know Melt can be a little bit higher in price. I actually think the eyeshadow palette is really pretty. Again, I'm such a fan of pinks so I feel like when I saw this I was like, ooh, like that. That looks really beautiful. Um, there is kind of like this light icy blue in there, which it's kind of like the palette makes sense to me color wise, even like almost like a deeper cranberry it looks like. And then we get like this light blue and these darker colors, but that's okay. Uh, I still think that's really pretty. I'll probably look at the price tag and see what that is. Again, I just have a feeling it is going to be a little bit higher. And again, with the pillow talk and wanting to purchase the love palette, just got a new one from ColourPop. It's like, I pr I'll probably be able to talk myself out of this one, but it definitely gave me a double take. I thought it was really pretty, so I'm going to keep an eye on that release and see what the price is on that. Uh, let's see. Physicians Formula is doing a new collab with Exterior Glam. I'm not super familiar with her, but this is the Rosé All Day Collection. We have a face palette that includes a blush, highlighter, four eyeshadows, a perfume, and a velvet lip color. So this reminds me a lot of the collab that they did with Casey Holmes, and I did actually get that box. It came with, I think it was four eyeshadows, blush, bronzer, highlighter, lip color, and a little perfume. I still have it. That's what I take in my travel bag. I uh, I got back from Vegas a couple days ago, and that's what I took as my perfume, because it's just like a nice little, this one looks different. It looks more of like the longer one, but the one that came in the Casey Holmes was just like a little one, and it's really easy to pop into my bag. So uh, this is $19.99. Uh, I again this one just doesn't really call to me a lot. I still have the box from Casey Holmes that I enjoy uh, I like that one came with a bronzer too. This one has the blush and the highlight The eyeshadows do look pretty, but I just I don't feel like I need them right now So I'm gonna pass over that one uh, Laura Mercier is coming out with a new face illuminator. This is available at Nordstrom. This is limited edition It features a flower press design embossed into the powder. It's $45 each and there's two different shades it's really beautiful like that flower I think I think having that like flower detail in there even though that's something that can kind of go away once you use the highlight after a while it's so eye-catching and it kind of just immediately makes me be like oh wait what is this what um you know $45 for one highlight that's definitely m more expensive um it's limited edition and I know that I can say no to this one. I definitely do have a lot of highlighters as well. And even though it's really beautiful, I think it's mostly that flower design that calls to me right away the most. And I, I think I'll be okay with it not in my collection. <laughs> Hourglass is coming out with some new ambient lighting palettes. There's four different palettes. And we have the Diffuser Edit, Dim Edit, Ethereal Edit, and Luminous Edit. It says available now in some countries. Sephora is coming soon. So it looks like it's just kind of like this this whole coming soon. I have not been the biggest fan of the Hourglass ambient lighting products. I've tried some of their palettes. I've tried a blush individually. That was the first thing that I got. I have a mini um, finishing powder and I just, I feel like I just don't quite understand them. I, they are definitely more of almost just like a natural product which is which is nice and some people really enjoy that but I feel like I haven't found that one 
product yet besides I do really like the bronzer in I think it was last year's palette that came with six different shades the bronzer in there I do like that one a lot but other than that I haven't I don't feel like I found like that one that I really enjoy so again I'm not sure of the prices on these or when you know there's kind of like some confusion of when they're going to be available in different places but maybe if I saw someone using it and they really, really loved it because I like that it's three versus like when the palettes came out around the holiday times, those usually have six, which just means they're more expensive. There's more, again, to like just try not to buy a lot of face products and all of that. It looks like there's one in the back that maybe has a bronzer and a blush in it. And then I'm assuming that's probably a finishing powder. I don't, so this is one I'm going to have to keep, I'm going to have to keep an eye out a little bit longer, wait till I see the price and, you know, maybe see see it on a few different people but it definitely they they look pretty I just we're just like not best friends yet we're just like casual acquaintances at this moment this is a brand that is newer to me I I uh, saw a post on indie makeup spotlight which is run by Amy loves makeup so I'll link that also in my description box and then actually makeup just for fun or Amanda on YouTube who's one of my friends she sent it to me and said this could be a good thing to put into your brother buy it so I screenshot it right away and I was like wait what why haven't I heard of this so again the brand is salt New York they have a mini palette that's available for pre-order now you can bundle the palette with four cream tints for $42. There's free shipping worldwide or purchase the palette individually at $20. You can also purchase the cream tints separately if you're not a fan of the packaging. Which I actually really like the packaging because it looks like, oh let me go to the Instagram page, like it looks like it kind of like looks like a wallet or like a clutch or you know, but then when you zip it open, there's makeup products in there. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. So this um, Salt New York was started by Kiki G Makeup. So once I started looking at the Instagram, then I kind of like went down a whole, a whole rabbit hole and everything. But Kiki G Makeup, Kiki G Makeup, not Magnet, is the. Can you guys tell? I don't. I also don't feel well. I feel like this always happens after traveling. I don't know if I'm still just like kind of tired, maybe a little bit dehydrated. I'm not sure, but I also just like don't. I don't feel well and I'm like no get it together you can do this looks like they have a lot of different options and I don't I kind of I really I like the packaging I think that's kind of cool so they have like some cream lip tints um you know you could put in so like I'm looking at one picture here on their Instagram they have a row of Marc Jacobs Beauty and also Colourpop Cosmetics shadows this is kind of neat. So have you guys heard of this brand, Salt New York? Have you tried anything from them? What would you think? Like, would you recommend them? Let me know. But I definitely wanted to mention it because um, I, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. It just looks like something a little bit different, which I also can appreciate. So I think this is a pretty cool thing. So I'll also link their Instagram down below. But please let us know in the comments if you've tried anything from them. Kathleen Lights is also launching a new nail polish shade with her Lights Lacquer brand. So this is for Valentine's Day. This is a Serendipity by Lights Lacquer. A classic red with pink undertones. It's available now, so I will link it down below. The red looks really beautiful. I don't do red nails a lot. I definitely do red on my toes. I actually have a light slacker um, polish on my toes right now, uh, rosy, the red, and it has like some sparkle in it. That's what I've had on my toes for a while. But there's a couple times that I've gone in to the nail salon and been like, I'm gonna do a red today. And then I don't. I always check it out. And I always go with like, just, you know, pink, neutral, nude, all of that. And I keep thinking about it because I don't have a nail appointment for, for a little bit yet. And I have like my pink sparkly nails that I did for my Vegas trip. And I thought like, oh, you know, like February, like, I don't know, that's cute. And I was like, maybe next time I'll do red for like Valentine's Day. And I'm already like talking myself out of it, but maybe. So this isn't one that I'd purchase because I don't know how much I would wear it. But I always want to do red nails and I never do it. I also got so many tags that Pat McGrath is coming out with a concealer so i love the sublime foundation that's one i did a video recently ranking all of the foundations that i tried in 2019 that one's ranked very high i've spoken very highly about it i know not everyone loves it and i feel like the people who don't love it like really want to make sure that everyone knows that they hate it because it is very expensive and i and i i understand that and it's something that i keep in mind myself as well it is very like pat mcgrath is just very expensive all my my girlfriends are super bougie i'm looking at you pat I'm looking at you charlotte i'm looking at you natasha they're all extremely bougie and then there's me it's like how did i get in this friendship circle i don't know either okay but 
I love the foundation. It's the one that I took to Vegas. It's the one that I wore the entire time. And I remember one night at dinner, <laughs> I was sitting next to Risa Does Makeup and I was talking about my skin because I've been having some skin issues and breakouts and I was talking about the comments that I get and just like how wearing it can be because I, I opened up to the girls about what's all going on and it was really nice to be able to have that conversation with people and just to hear their advice and feedback really meant a lot to me um but i was saying you know like i'm just more self-conscious about my skin and risa looks at me she goes your skin looks great what foundation are you wearing i was like the Pat mcgrath and she's like i that is one foundation i don't like i was like i love it i love it I, I get I, like I just it holds up so well for me I love the way that it looks on my skin like it's just one of my favorite foundations that's a foundation and I didn't say this in last Friday's try to get ready with me when I was doing a bunch of the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk collection but the Pat McGrath foundation was one that I wore and I like I seriously want to cry it's probably just because I don't feel good right now but I wanted to say that I actually felt pretty and that is not something that I feel a lot these days which sucks but you know it's just sometimes it can just be harder when you're online and you have to read comments every single day about yourself and my mom watches all of my videos and my mom reads all of my comments so if you're someone who like really gets off on leaving horrible negative comments towards people know that their you know moms or siblings or children might be reading their comments too or seeing them and you know how that could potentially make them feel too because you're not just talking to a stranger on the internet you're not just bashing someone or cutting someone down who's a stranger on the internet they're a person too they're a daughter or they're a wife or their mother so maybe just something to think about and i know like obviously my mom knows what's going on with me and she'll message me and just you know say like oh if only they knew <laughs> like if only they knew they would feel so bad saying these things and i'm like i know but that's you know people don't think about that kind of stuff on the internet so i know that just interesting because there are so many comments again of people being like you're so happy like you're so excited it's so fun to see your enthusiasm and it's just you know it sounds like a silly thing but i actually felt pretty but a large part of that also was that Pat McGrath foundation it's one that I I almost try to not wear it a lot because I feel bad wearing it I feel bad saying it's my favorite because I know that it's more expensive but it is and especially after how I felt on Friday I was like I'm taking that to Vegas I'm gonna wear it every time because I just it really helps with my self-esteem which is at a real all-time low at the moment just to be honest with you so with that being said, Pat McGrath is coming out with the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer, which is in 36 shades. It's going to be $32 each, which I guess 32 for the concealer isn't as bad as I thought it could have been because a lot of concealers, like high-end concealers these days, can run at like the $28 or $30 mark. Still, I mean, still very expensive. No, I'm not trying to like say that it's inexpensive, but when I saw concealer, I, I was like, oh, is it going to be like... 40 plus dollars <laughs> so we got 32 dollars there's also a new under eye powder which is going to be 30 dollars each uh and also three new brushes then also the sublime perfection concealer brush which is 32 dollars this is all going to be available february 21st online and coming soon to sephora I think I'd be most interested in just trying out the concealer at this point. Brushes, I definitely have a lot of brushes. I purchased some brush sets as of recently. Um, and the powder, I did try the Pat McGrath powder that came in the Sublime um, collection as well. I tried the primer, the powder, and the foundation. The foundation was definitely my favorite. The powder, I did, like, I do like it. I just, I didn't really know if it was worth that price tag. Um, because the powder was definitely more expensive too. So, I think as of right now, I'm most interested in trying the concealer from Pat McGrath. Again, it's one of those things that, like, I'll probably order it from Sephora. I'd want, like, the 8% cash back or, like, really good beauty offer, bonus offer, or, um, rewards <laughs> and things like that. But, yeah, definitely eyeing that one and see that there is some new skincare. So Huda Beauty is coming out with a skincare line. So this has been teased for a while, but we have the first product. So this is called um, Wishful Skin is the brand. Okay, and the first product is the Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. It says a gentle yet powerful exfoliating scrub. Uh, it has BHAs and AHAs, a combination of fruit extracts, acids, soft exfoliants, it's going to be $39.
So I don't think I'm going to run out and buy this one right away. I'll probably wait to see some reviews on the skincare line in general. Um, you know, $39 a little bit more expensive. I did just purchase some new skincare as well. I've had the niacinamide serum from The Ordinary, which I really do like. I really do think that it's helping a lot. And then I also just purchased a new cleanser from Youth to the People, so I'm trying that out. So, you know, I try not to introduce too much skincare at one time because that's not good. And especially when you're already having skin issues because of other issues that are happening, there's a lot going on. So I think I'll be good with that. But I'm curious to see the reviews. Uh, I know Huda Beauty puts a lot of fragrance into her makeup products. So a lot of people were kind of leery about is there going to be a bunch of fragrance in skincare, which isn't always the best thing. So I'll be curious to get some reviews. And then Summer Fridays is coming out with a super amino gel cleanser. A super powered, uh, what's this say? Super powered by a restorative cocktail of 11 amino acids and a splash of mineral rich, mineral rich seawater. Ooh, this gentle pH balancing cleanser washes away makeup and impurities while it moisturizes and nourishes the skin. So it looks like this should be available now. I haven't tried anything from Summer Fridays yet. I keep wanting to try the Jet Life Mask. I've mentioned it a couple times. I've thought about that one. I haven't tried anything yet. Again, I just purchased a new cleanser, so I don't feel like... And also, I got the Ulla Henriksen new cleanser that came out a couple weeks prior to that, but I've really been focusing on the youth to the people. So... I don't, I don't, I don't need a new cleanser right now. It sounds good, uh, but again, I haven't tried anything yet from the brand. Bliss is an affordable skincare brand. They're at Target. Um, I see that this new collection is at Target, but they're also available at like CVS. I think they're available at Walgreens. So they are coming out with the Bright Idea Vitamin C Tripeptide, a spa grade collagen protecting duo to visibly plump while helping diminish the look of dark spots for supple skin with a dewy glow. So we have the collagen protecting and brightening serum for $27, also a moisturizer for $25, and an eye cream for $25. So it's going to be available in March at Ulta, CVS, and April at Walgreens, and it looks like it's available now at Target. Uh, okay, so like I said, I've purchased some new skincare recently, so probably don't need this. I do like Bliss. I've tried a lot of products from them. I actually have like a charcoal mud mask in my shower that I use. I like their day and night serums. I think those are really nice and some good affordable options. Uh, again, because I have purchased some new skincare as of recently, I don't think I need to introduce more, but that's just some new skincare coming out if you are interested and then I did get some tags on this collection from Sephora and it took me a second and I had to google a few things because I'm never hipping with the times okay I'm never hipping with the times but this is a collaboration with a Netflix movie so it says this is available now at Sephora in a partnership collection with Netflix and all the boys PS I still love you or to all the boys I've loved before. So these are Netflix movies, and I guess there's one, and then there's a sequel. I've seen a lot of people in the comments say how much they love this movie. Have you guys seen it? Should I watch it? We just finished watching You Season 2 on Netflix. Me and my husband just wrapped that up last weekend, and it was like... That's what I thought about that show, but let me know if you've seen these movies and what you think. But there's a whole bunch of different brands included in this. So we have a Kitsch, Kitsch, I feel like I'm not saying that correctly, a scrunchie set, $12 for two scrunchies. That's actually one of the scrunchies I have in my hair today, I'm trying to do a messy bun look. Not well, not well. Uh, we have from Amika, a Polish Perfection and Mini Straightening Brush Set. Milk Makeup has a set in there. Glow Recipe. Uh, Kaja has a Heart Melter, a Cheek Stamp, uh, Moon Crystal, Laneige. I mean, there's a bunch. Like, this is kind of really cool. And if you see anything in here that you spot from a brand or things that you've wanted to try, this could be something kind of neat. I do like the scrunchies. I also like the set from Kaja. I think that looks really cool. Amika has the brush and then also the hair care product for 35. This is kind of a neat idea. Laneige has the two lip sleeping masks, which I like I absolutely love. That's $24 and usually it's 20 for one. This is kind of really neat. I don't know if there's anything that like I absolutely must have. Again, that Kaja set, I'm kind of looking at a little bit close though. The Laneige, I just purchased a new one, so I wouldn't need those. Again, the scrunchies still look cute. We got the brush and then the dry shampoo. I don't know. What do you guys think about this collection? I think it's really cute. A couple things. 
that I think are looking pretty nice. So I would love to hear your thoughts about that. And then I just want to wrap it up with one more thing. And I thought this was really exciting. So I really enjoy the YouTuber Ali Glines and she has recently launched um, her own product. Again, I'm purchasing this or I'm filming this. Oh my gosh, you guys can really tell I don't feel well. Um, I'm filming this on Tuesday and I'm really excited because we saw, was it yesterday or a couple days ago that something was coming and there was a new Instagram called Shop Ally Glines that came out, but we didn't know what it was going to be yet. I saw Ally say it wasn't going to be makeup, so I was thinking, is it going to be tools? Is it going to be like clothes? Like, I don't know. And so she came out with this. So it says, her Instagram says, Ally Glines, a new way to organize beauty. And she has come out with makeup bags. So she says that she's designed her dream makeup bags. I know a YouTube video just went live as well, but I was getting ready. I was doing my Instagram tutorial that I'm sitting down to film. So I really want to watch that and see everything. But, um, so I just think this is really cool. Again, she, I just think that she is super sweet. Ali is someone who has able to meet in person. We were both nominated in the American Influencer Awards and I saw her, she walked to the carpet before me and I spotted her then. And I was like, because I had seen on her Instagram stories that she was there and that she was going and I was like maybe I'll get to meet her and that would be really cool but like I'm super awkward so like I'm probably not gonna say anything and I saw her on the carpet and I was like and then I walked inside and my friend Shanda came to the award show with me and we walked inside and I was like that's Allie Klein's right there and it was just her and her husband and Shanda was like go say something I'm so glad I had Shayna with me because she like encouraged me to do like anything. It probably if she wasn't there, A, I don't know if I would have left my hotel, <laughs> to be honest. And B, if I did leave the hotel and go to the award show, I probably would have hid in the bathroom. But she was like, go, like you're here. Like what, like what other time are you going to be able to talk to her? I was like, okay. So I went and said hello and she was so nice. And she is someone who just like from our like short conversation that we we were able to have, she loves what she does and she, I mean, just talking to her about being a creator and making these connections with other creators and other viewers, like she's just someone who I love that she is part of, part of like representing this beauty community because she's just such a good person <laughs> and that makes me really happy and it was just so clear talking to her how much she loves this, how much she loves meeting new people how much appreciation she has for what she gets to do. And so when I saw that she was launching something, I was so excited about it. I immediately started following the Instagram. I was like, what is it gonna be? So we have these makeup bags. So obviously if you don't follow her yet, I, I feel like you should, but you probably already do, but I'll link her just in case you don't. But so we have the full bag collection. This collection includes two everyday bags, which are smaller bags, one everyday bag, which is a medium bag, and one full outer bag to put it all in. So it's a makeup bag which can be good for traveling for I talk about like on-the-go makeup bags a lot because like I said even yesterday I was in a different town for some appointments so I always take an on-the-go makeup bag with me so you have different options on the website everything is available now it's allieglines.com so you can purchase the small bag you can purchase the medium bag you can purchase the full set I purchased the full bag collection which has the two small bags the medium bag and then the full outer bag and I'm super pumped I think it looks gorgeous like it kind of reminds me of that salt New York that I was like that's what I liked so much was like the outer packaging that's what I think is so cool it kind of reminds me a little bit of that but it looks beautiful and looking like I haven't even seen the YouTube video yet but just looking at the photos I was like I feel like I can fit so much stuff in there and 2020 is a year that I really want to travel I've said this many times there's a lot of places I want to go there's a lot of people I want to meet I've already been able to do one trip which was Vegas I have another trip coming up, which I'm really excited about, and I can't wait to do that. So I think this is going to be perfect because it looks like you can fit so much makeup in there. She's got hair care products in there too. I'm so excited about this. And then I could take the smaller bags if I want just like an on-the-go makeup bag. I'm really excited about this. I bought it right away. So the one that I bought was the full bag collection, which is the $84. And again, I love that you get this the big outer packaging and then the two smaller bags and the medium bag in there too. Like... Love it. Congratulations to Ali and to Thailand. I think that this is such a, this is such a cool thing. And I, I don't know. I just think that they're really good people and I'm really excited to support. And it's something that I feel like I would use a lot. After that, that is going to wrap it up for this week's Will I Buy It video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And you know, I always want to apologize for like not feeling the best, but it's, I mean, 
it's real life you don't really get a lot of sick days <laughs> when this is what you do and I love filming the will I buy it video so you know I really wanted to come on today and of course get it filmed talk to you about all these new releases let me know your thoughts on all of them what are you planning to pick up what are you not so interested in and definitely let me know but other than that if you guys did enjoy this video I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video